History of Stonehurst College Stonehurst College as a school dates back to 1593 when its antecedent, the Jesuit College at St. Omer, was founded in Flanders to educate English Catholics. The history of the present school buildings dates as far back as 1280. Stonehurst Hall The earliest deed concerning the Stonehurst dates from 1280 and can now be found in the Arundel Library in the college, whilst the earliest evidence of a building on the site is from 1372 when John de Bailey was licensed to have an oratory there, the archway in the Bailey Room, within the Blind Tower, is believed to date from the 14th century, and may well be the only remnant of that earlier building. The oldest portion of the extant buildings, however, the Shireburn Mansion Stonehurst Hall, was founded by the Roman Catholic Richard Shireburn, a descendant of the Bailey family, whose son attended the college at St. Omer. He built the gatehouse and open cupolas known as the towers on top of an older settlement dating from 1592. The design of the gatehouse incorporates four of the classical orders Doric, Ionic, Corinthian, and Composite. Three similar designs appear on the buildings of Merton and Wadham College in Oxford. In places, the exterior walls of this part of the building are as much as 6 feet 1, 8 m thick. In 1648, during the English Civil War, Oliver Cromwell's army encamped near the hall on their way to the Battle of Preston. Cromwell spent the night at Stonehurst and is reputed to have slept on a table in the middle of the Great Hall in full armor. He is said to have preferred this option to a bed because of fear of assassination and mistrust of his Catholic, royalist hosts. He was quoted as saying it was the best half-house he had seen the hall was at that time still unfinished. Richard Shireburn's successor and grandson, Sir Nicholas Shireburn, began an extensive building scheme to extend the half-house and completed the Great Hall, Gardens and Avenue so that it could be a great manor house. Two ponds, each measuring 660 feet 200 m by 112 feet 34 m were constructed in 1696, along with the causeway between, today known as the Avenue. His son Richard was poisoned in the gardens in 1702, and with no male heir Nicholas ceased building. Upon his death in 1717, the buildings passed to his wife and then to their sole heir, Maria Shireburn, Duchess of Norfolk. The Duchess was married to Thomas Howard, 8th Duke of Norfolk, and lived at Arundel Castle in Sussex. Unoccupied, the buildings at Stonehurst began to fall into disrepair. Eventually the houses were inherited by her cousin, Thomas Weld, in 1761. Already living in Lulworth Castle, and able to dispense with an additional estate, Thomas, an old boy of St. Omer, generously donated the property to the Society of Jesus, with 30 acres 12 haw of land, in 1794. The original hall has been altered and extended over the years to become one of the largest inhabited buildings in Europe, and achieving grade I listed status from English heritage. The village of Hurst Green, Lancashire developed with the hall. Richard Shireburn built the village school in 1686. He also built an almshouse on Longridge Fell, the predecessor of the Shireburn almshouses, which his son Nicholas built in about 1707. The latter was dismantled in 1946 and re-erected in the village. The College, 1593-1794. The story of the school starts at St. Omer in what was then the Spanish Low Countries in 1593, where a college was founded by Father Robert Parsons for English boys, unable to receive a Catholic education in Elizabethan England. As such, it was one of a number of expatriate English schools operating on the European mainland during the centuries when Catholicism was prescribed in England. In 1762, when the French Parliament turned against the Jesuits, the school, 
in what was then a part of France, was forced to move. During subsequent decades, when the Jesuit order was suppressed in most countries, the college was one of the institutions through which it managed to maintain a continuous existence. After St. Omer, still known in Stonyhurst parlance by its old English name of St. Omer's, the college settled in Bruges, where it continued until 1773, when it was again forced to move, reassembling at Liege under the protection of its bishop. In 1794, yet another move was forced upon the school, and a new home was found at Stonyhurst Hall in Lancashire, an ideal county for the school to settle in because it was still a Catholic stronghold and its rural, isolated character provided the hope that the school would be left alone by the authorities. Not taking any chances, however, a number of hiding places were created throughout the building should the Jesuits face persecution again, and when St. Mary's Hall was constructed in the following century, a secret escape tunnel, which still survives, was also built linking the seminary to an exit in the gardens. The honor of being last student at Liege and the first at Stonyhurst was claimed by a George Lambert Clifford whose bust is today on display in the due room. It is recorded that he and fellow pupil from Liege, 1794-1980s. When Clifford and his fellow pupils of Liege first arrived at Stonyhurst Hall, the buildings were in an extremely bad state of disrepair, and a temporary structure was built next to the east wing to house the boys. This temporary building still exists and is known as Shirk. A number of other buildings were added in the early 19th century, including the new Church of St. Peter's, in the Gothic style of the chapel at King's College, Cambridge. By the 1880s new building works began on the school, including removal of the grand stairs in the quad, and subsequently the west wing. The temporary structures of Shirk, and the new West Wing served the school well, but by late 19th century it needed to expand again and work was started on the South Front, including the building of the Boys' Chapel and the Academy Room. The South Front took a considerable amount of time to build, because much of the land was swamp. The work began in 1876 to replace the old playground front of 1809, the total cost of the construction minus architect's fees was P. 123,205. Fives. Sixth. Less than the cost of refurbishing the dormitories in the same building 130 years later. Stonehurst was notable for its scientific activities, including the meteorological records of the observatory built in 1838. The school also prided itself on producing gentlemen philosophers. Philosophers was the term used for students pursuing a course of education above secondary level at a time when Catholics were forbidden from attending Oxford or Cambridge both by English law and also by a papal prohibition. Gaslighting was another early technological innovation at the school during this period, and the school had its own power station. From the 1960s onwards, the Stonyhurst went through a number of changes, partly reflecting those in the Catholic Church after the Second Vatican Council, but also attributable in part to the growing secular tone of British society. The number of Jesuit instructors fell steadily, reflecting the changed priorities of Catholic religious orders and the dwindling numbers of the English Jesuit province. These changes led to the closing of another Jesuit boys' public school, Beaumont College. In 1966, Beaumont and Stonyhurst amalgamated. With the addition of these new pupils, Stonyhurst had to expand again, and the new wing was built beside the wing erected in the 1800s to house the Arundel Library. The former preparatory school to Beaumont College, 1986-2006. After F.R. Michael Bossy's 15-year headmastership, in 1986 the college acquired its first lay headmaster, Giles Mercer. Mercer brought in a number of changes during his time and developed particular areas of the school. 
By the end of the 1980s, the school opened a new indoor swimming pool, new squash courts, a new gym, and various refurbished classrooms and playrooms. Scenes from the film Three Men and a Little Lady were shot at the college. In 1993, the school celebrated 400 years since its foundation at St. Omer, and in 1994, 200 years since its foundation at Stonyhurst Hall. Mercer set up the Centenary's appeal to raise money for new building works, including the refurbishment of the science laboratories, the bread rooms, now English department classrooms, the language classrooms, the ambulacrum sports hall, and numerous other areas. The appeal also went towards building the new Centenary's theater. As part of the celebrations, a play written by F. R. William Hewitt, S.J., was performed at the new theater outlining the history of Stonehurst. Adrian Eilward succeeded Mercer in 1996, and the school continued to flourish during his 10-year leadership. In 1997, Stonehurst began its run-up to becoming fully co-educational and introduced girls to the preparatory school, St. Mary's Hall. A building project was undertaken, such that by the time of Eilward's departure as headmaster refurbishment had taken place in the following areas of the school, the old infirmary converted from girls to Jesuit community accommodation, lower grammar, grammar and higher line playrooms, all dormitories cubicles replaced by rooms on two stories, the plunge converted into dormitories, and changing rooms on two stories, the Sodality Chapel restored, the top refectory, the do room, the law, five IT suites were created, CCTV was installed at all entrances, some disguised as Victorian lamp posts. The back of the building outside the music basement was tidied up, and new landscaping and redesign of the road layout accompanied the building of the all-weather sports pitch on Harry Meadow. Classrooms were redecorated and renamed after saints associated with the school. At the same time, academic standards improved, with Oxbridge entry standing at around 10% in 2003. On a point of principle, Eilward withdrew Stonehurst from academic league tables, claiming that they were of little relevance and devalued the worth of the individual. The Stonehurst Access Appeal was set up in 2003 to widen access to the college to those from lower-income families and to generate funds for further redevelopment. Adrian Eilward also steered the school through a difficult investigation into claims of alleged child abuse said to have taken place in the 1970s. In 2005, after 10 years, Eilward announced his resignation from June 2006. Andrew Johnson succeeded Eilward in September 2006. 2006 present. As headmaster, Andrew Johnson has presided over continued alterations to the building. A new spiritual center, the Emmaus Center, has opened adjoining the Dew Room. The Sodality Chapel has been rededicated and most recently the Campion Room has been converted into a new study center. The school has returned to the league tables as Johnson works to improve the school's academic standing. New procedures have been put in place to support and prepare Oxbridge applicants, and a new mentoring system established. Extracurricular activities have been increased, particularly with a view to community-based work, such as the Arup program. Johnson also inspired the renaming of St. Mary's Hall to Stonyhurst St. Mary's Hall and is encouraging the prep school's doubling in size. Johnson is keen to transform Stonyhurst's academic performance as well as its standing, focusing on the quality of teaching and moving the school towards greater academic selection. Local Center Parishes During the 19th century, Stonehurst was a leading Jesuit center. In 1794, it was the only Jesuit college in the country. From Stonehurst, the Jesuits would travel to the Catholics in the surrounding towns to say Mass. Over time, churches were built for the Catholics in those places. 
The Jesuit priests from Stonyhurst built St. Mary's Church in Clayton Le Moors in 1810, St. Ignatius Church, Preston in 1833, St. Stephen's Church, Skipton in 1836, St. Francis Xavier Church, Liverpool in 1840, the St. Walburgies Preston in 1854, both Our Lady Immaculate and St. Joseph Church, Prescott, and Sacred Heart Church, Blackpool in 1857, Holy Cross Church, Clayton Lemours and Accrington. From 1810 to 1873, the Jesuits served the Catholics in Clayton Lemours from St. Mary's Church until they handed over the administration of the church over to the Diocese of Salford, who continued to serve the parish. The Jesuits arrived in Accrington in 1852 to start a mission and dedicated the parish to Oswald of Northumbria. In 1869, a church was built on Blackburn Road and was dedicated to the Sacred Heart instead. On 5 August 1869, the church was opened by the first bishop of Salford, William Turner. In 1931, the parish needed expansion and Our Lady's Chapel was built in Huncote. In 1958, the Jesuits handed over the administration of the church to the Diocese of Salford. In June 2003, the church was closed. Later that year, it was damaged in a fire and then demolished.